at Autodesk University and we're talking to Jason Reams with Globalscape. One of the problems with our mass data capture, our scans and our 3D digital photogrammetry is really big, huge damn files that we need to get to and from our clients and engineers and collaborators. Well, if any of you remember uh, or still use a tool called Qt FTP, these folks actually were the ones that came up with it many moons ago. Now they're dealing with massive data sets. Jason's going to give us a quick demo of what you can do with this. So here we have Revit uh, 2016. I'm going to take a little truck here. Click on the truck. Ladder. Click on the truck. And I'm going to change the truck into a, a nice beetle. I'm going to go up here to collaborate. And I'm going to synchronize with Central. Then over here, on this side. Collaborate again. See? And magically, what our software is doing now is we're sending just the uh, light level changes. So instead of se sending this whole pharmacy, we only sent the, the truck going down to a car. And because we went from a truck to a car, it makes it smaller if we go from a car to a truck. It'd be bigger. So we have another solution for when you need to send it point to point. These are people who are collaborating. Okay. We have another product called Mail Express. So when we want to send a file from one person to another or a group of people, just like email, instead of clicking on your paper clip in Outlook like you're used to, there's a different paper clip. You select the file and you can choose how you want to encrypt it, compress it. You can also select that you want the file to uh, age after a certain time. You only want it to have availability for two weeks, two months. And then it offloads that onto an FTP server. They get a link, they click it, they can go to the link, or they can um, go to a download page and download whatever that's been sent to them recently. So it's that type of functionality.